everyone, Amber here with 1898 Mama. Um, if you don't know me, I am a mama of four, number five on the way. Um, I live in South Dakota. I homeschool my kids. I homestead. Um, I like kind of all things natural, fit living, um, just kind of a, a bunch of stuff that I am into. So that's exactly what this YouTube channel is about. Just a bunch of stuff that I am into. Um, but today I thought I'd do something kind of practical. I was going to um, go through my baby's, my, yeah, my newborn's to zero to three stuff and see what I have, what I don't have, what's stained, what's ruined, um, what needs to be thrown, what needs to be bought, that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd let you watch me do that and see how a minimal type person with many kids goes and figures out what she needs for um, the next baby. So I haven't found out the sex of every baby or every pregnancy yet. Um, some I have, some I haven't. We did decide to with number five, and we did find out that it's a boy. Um, so that does kind of make the next 20 weeks more, more fun um, because I can buy more boy stuff. So let's get into going through the stuff. So, I have here just a 31, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a 31 bag. Um, and I actually got this for free from my mother-in-law. Um, and I I don't know if I've gone through this stuff. I really don't remember what I did, even though it was only a year ago that I was in here. I don't remember what I have in here. I don't know if I've thrown away stained stuff. I don't even, I just have no idea. I don't remember. Um, I'm guessing as he grew out, baby four grew out, I just kind of threw it in here. Um, but we are going to look through and see what I do have and then we will decide what I do need to buy and what I don't need to buy. So I do have a pen and a paper down here too um, to take notes because baby brain is a real thing. So we are just going to go and start looking. Now the first thing I see I actually just bought on Facebook market, market page place. Whew, I'm already out of breath. Like in the last two to three days, that has absolutely started to happen. Um, but this is like the coolest thing ever and I'm super excited. So I got this. It's size four to five. So my third child will fit into it. And then baby will fit into this. So I'm really, really excited about this. So that is the one thing I do remember that I have in here. Um, so that's the zero to three. So I'm just going to kind of separate them into like newborn and zero to three. Every baby I've had so far, newborn clothes last about a week before they're into zero to three. I do have babies that run on the bigger end. Uh, but I do like to have newborn things because you never know. Um, and if I remember right, I do have a premier two outfit in here. Although I probably may have given them for doll clothes. I don't remember. So we've got these hats, which I don't think I've actually ever used. But this is going to be a December baby. So I might, need, might use them this time. So yeah, I'm just going to go through. Put them in sizes. So I'm guessing these are all in order. Zero to three. Um, and these are all short sleeve because I haven't had a winter baby in a really long time. So I already know, I can already tell, I'm probably going to have to buy long sleeve um, stuff. And here's going to be my game plan for that. Put it in pajamas. The baby's going to live in in pajamas and when I get to the bottom here if they're in here they might be with the cloth diapers too um, but they're like the like sleep sack is that what they're called I think okay so here's some newborn long sleeve um, what if you guys have tips on like how you organize baby clothes for even older kids' clothes, 
I would gladly take them because I, I have a system, but I'm not like super in love with it. Um, so like in each kid's room, I have a basket for each kid in the top of the closet and I'll just throw clothes that are too big for them that they will fit into. Um, so then the next size that they'll, they're in, they will, um, I'll just be able to grab them and wash them real quick. But then I also have like a storeroom upstairs where I keep different sizes um, of things that I, I really like. So I'm actually think what I'm going to do is I know that I'm not going to have a summer baby in zero to three months. So I'm just going to actually even just get rid of this and sell it at a consignment shop um, and just get credit for future clothes. And I do that with basically every kid almost. I only keep clothes that I really, really, truly love. Um, other than that, I sell them or give them Goodwill. So that's like way big. I, uh, and I do that because I hate clutter. So I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with it. I'd much rather just buy the kids new clothes. Um, it has been a little bit more challenging since COVID started. I used to go to Once Upon a Child, which is about an hour and a half from me. And I, um, I would just always bring them clothes, get usually a hundred to two hundred dollars, and then I would buy the kids' next clothes. However, with COVID, I have not been able to do that. So that's been really, really challenging. Um, I have been having to buy more newer clothes, which is not exactly in the budget, but it's kind of what we're being forced to do. Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff I'm not totally in love with anymore, which that's fine, whatever. Consignment shops are starting to open back up. Um, so I'll just go from there. So I'm trying to think, so like these are six months summer clothes. My kids are usually in six months around three months-ish to four months-ish. So no, they probably won't need very many summer clothes. So I'll probably keep this because this is super cute. Um, but I'll get rid of this because it's not super cute. So. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of stuff in here like I thought. So I'm thinking I might have another kind of bummed. I even have girl stuff in here um, that I'm going to throw in the consignment shop. So, take a sec. Um, okay, so after this basket, I'm actually going to run upstairs and see if I have more. Because I feel like I do. My clothes are going to get well. So yeah, this is empty now. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through. Okay, so this thing's empty. I'm going to go through and grab this stuff. So this was the zero to threes. I'm clearly set on zero to three onesies. Um, these are actually... Why can't I think of the word? Boy and girl clothes, um, which I do on purpose because, like I said, I don't always find out what the sex is. So I'm not able to run to a store and buy um, clothes. So I definitely know I need to get zero to three long sleeve, um, which is actually just going to be zero to three onesies with possibly three, maybe two outfits. Um, church. So 
usually when they're young, they, they sit with me in church. Um, and they're usually like in a wrap. I do bring them in jammies quite a bit. But, um, but not always. I do like to have a little, some cute outfits. But because it is going to be December, January, I'm not going to worry about it too much because the baby's going to be in the car seat under that thing or the baby's probably going to be in a wrap. Video. Okay, so as you can just tell by looking at these piles, I definitely need some newborn jammies, some zero to three jammies, and if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll do three to six jammies, and then also church clothes. So it's super simple. Literally, all I'm going to buy right now. After the baby is born, it seems like people always bring hand-me-downs to me. Um, I don't know if that's a common thing or if I'm just like the hand-me-down type. I don't know. But usually I end up getting hand-me-downs or grandparents go crazy or whatever. So you guys, that's seriously all I did for figuring out what the baby needs. So I know... Um, I know that I'm good on cloth diapers if you cloth diaper. However, I do plan on buying some new prints because I will have two in cloth diapers. Um, I do have a bunch of girl cloth diapers up that I haven't touched in three years. But, I mean, yes, the diaper is not a big deal. I can put them in pink diapers. But it's more fun in blue. If you do cloth diapering, you know the prints are like a super fun thing. Um, so I am going to buy more diapers so I need a bunch of jammies I need diapers um, and then I also need a breast pump so that's not really clothes related but I did break my breast pump right before I was done breastfeeding the last baby I dropped it on the floor and it didn't work after that um, so I will be buying another breast pump and you guys I think that's all I need to buy so let me let me talk to you about like minimalism ish mom. So the kid's gonna sleep with me, and there's also gonna be a pack and play next to my bed for when I just need space, or um, all the other kids jump into my bed in the middle of the night, or just you know whatever. Um, so there will be a pack and play, but the kid will sleep with me. With me. We will have a crib, however, the one-year-old is still in it. He won't, this next baby won't be in it for a good four to six months, probably. I have a swing. I have um, a sitting thing. I can't think of what it's called, but you just sit them in there. I have that. I have a car seat. You guys, I think that's all I have. And then I, that I feel like I need. And even that, I feel like I kind of have a lot. Quite honestly, when the baby is born, if you're breastfeeding, the baby needs mom, the baby needs diapers, and the baby needs warm clothes. Oh, and I do have wraps. So, you really, really, honest to God, do not need all of the stuff that Pinterest and baby registries are telling you. I know that it's super exciting, but I promise you, just save your money. Um, you're going to save money, you're going to save time, you're going to save space, you're going to save energy, you're going to save cleaning, storing. It's just so much easier to not worry about all of the crap that you are supposed to get and that the world is telling you that you need to get for this baby. Because I promise you, you're not going to need it and it's probably just going to be a waste of money. Um, now, maybe there's something out there that I haven't found or tried and you feel like, oh yeah, absolutely, you 100% need this, get it. And actually, as I'm saying that now, if you are a breastfeeding mom, I cannot think of what it's called, but it's really, really nice. Um, you just put it on the side that you're not nursing on and it touches your milk. And you can build a huge supply up with just that in the first week or two. 
So that's definitely another thing. And then you'll also need um, breast pump and milk bag, obviously, if you're going to work or plan on just having some time away from the baby. I pump a lot, even though I'm rarely not with my kids. I still pump a lot um, just for kind of fear a little bit. Like, well, if I die, I don't want the baby to go on formula. Um, and then also because I do donate. So if I do not end up using it with like within three to six months, I will donate and I usually end up donating quite a bit, quite a bunch of milk. Um, so this is kind of like a hodgepodge of what I save of kids' babies' clothes um, and what I'm going to buy for baby number five and what I need to buy. So if you have any ideas, let me know. This is this was totally like a spur of the moment. Well, I'm going through it. Let's make a video about it. Um, so it wasn't really planned. They didn't really think it through. So it's kind of like the word vomit as I'm going. But uh, I wanted to get this done and I didn't want to. I thought, well, maybe I can help somebody out. So if you have any ideas on um, saving kids' clothes or how many kids' clothes you save, or maybe you save like all of the clothes, tell me if you regret it or you're very um, glad that you did it or how you do it without feeling overwhelmed of all of your stuff. Uh, but maybe that, that kind of thing doesn't bother you too, but I, I can't handle that. Um, and if you want to see like more random baby stuff that I do to prep for the baby, let me know. Um, give it a thumbs up or comment down below and tell me if you have any ideas that you want to see me do that I'm going to get ready for the baby or this random stuff that I do do. If you like it, um, I can make more random videos of this that kind of come up as I'm getting prepared for the baby to come. Let me know. And if you are into any of the stuff that I am into, hit subscribe and you will be notified for new videos. Bye.